Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a review of this little device which we've purchased to record our video playback from the Switch and from the Raspberry Pi. So let's have a look at what's in the box. So you can see some of the details on the back here. You can see that the uh, supported input maximum resolution is 4K. So that's 4K input. You can see the maximum output resolution is 1080p and you can use it with software such as OBS, VLC, etc. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Nice little box. Inside we have got the device itself. Made of metal with the printing on the top. You can see on this side you've got a USB input which connects to the computer and you've got your HDMI output. And then on here you've got a DC 5 volt input and a HDMI input. Also in the box you get a USB connector, micro USB connector, and the USB to USB cable get the user manual with it which has got some connection diagrams and some basic instructions on how to set you up with OPS. Micro USB cable and your USB to USB cable. So that's all what you get in the box. So what we're going to do next is connect it up, show you how to connect it up and you'll be able to see what the output's like. Okay, so what we're going to be taking you through now is the uh, the setup to connect your Nintendo Switch up to the capture box. So we're going to connect up the Switch using the cables provided. You need the HDMI cable and the USB cable to plug into the laptop. So the good thing about this is that it's got a loop through which means that you can um, see the output of your switch on the TV. So you connect your switch to the input of the HDMI capture box and then you use the loop through to plug it into the TV. Dead simple into the output and then the output goes straight into your TV. So once you've got that connected up you need to take the USB cable and this is the USB to USB cable and then you plug one end of that into the capture box like so and then you plug the other end into your laptop. So this is what sends the video signal into the uh, device, your laptop, to allow it to capture the video. So it's USB capture. So that just goes into any USB 2 port. That's fine. And once you plug it in, you'll see that um, it sets up the device and it sets up a new video capture device. And that's it, as simple as that. Once you've done that, you need to fire up your software and we'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, so we're flipping over to the computer now and I'm just gonna show you how to set up your OBS settings. So if you scoot over and download the latest version of OBS from their website um, and install it on your computer and then what you want to do is fire up OBS going to show you here I've got one running already because I'm already uh, recording the screen on here so this will uh, fire up your uh, OBS studio here and what you want to do is add some sources so we need to add the source for the video and then we need to add the source for the audio as well so you've got to do it separately so even though it's coming over HDMI you still need to add the audio and the video in 
as uh, separate sources in that. So we'll do that now. So you just go to the sources box, click on the plus, and then click on your video capture device. Click uh, create new in there, which is fine. Just click OK, and that will show you your settings. It's come up with the default device, which is the integrated camera on the laptop. Uh, but we don't want that. We want the USB input, which is the uh, HDMI capture box, uh, which is coming in on the USB input. And once we select that, you can see the preview of the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. We've got Mario Kart running on that. Uh, you don't need to do any other settings on that. Just click OK, and that will add it into there. As you can see, that's um, got the input from the box coming in there, and uh, we're capturing the, the screen on that. So the next bit you want to do to get the audio onto that is to click on Add, do an audio input capture again, click on OK, and then select your settings. Now for this, depending on what you've got, you'll probably select your, um, your microphone on your laptop or your uh, PC. But if you go down to that, what you want there, as you can see, is the USB 3 digital audio. So that's the digital audio that's coming in from the, the Raspberry Pi or whatever it is you're capturing, be like your Switch, your PS4, um, or your Raspberry Pi, anything like that. So click on that and then click OK. And what you can see now is that it's all capturing the audio from the, uh, the HDMI box, the stream that's coming into there as well. Uh, and that's it. So once you're ready to uh, start your screen streaming, uh, you just click on the start recording button from here and that will uh, start your recording. And that's it. So what I'll do is uh, show you some samples that we've grabbed from here. Because um, the Mario Kart or the Raspberry Pi is low, low resolution anyway, so we've only been capturing it at uh, 720p. I don't think there's any point doing it in uh, 1080 because you're not going to get the resolution anyway there. Um, so we're just capturing it at 720p anyway and it's uh, a bit better uh, on the load on the laptop. So I hope that was useful for you guys. That should allow you to um, capture your streams, record your gaming and get it onto your YouTube channels. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll get notified of any of the new videos that we do. And thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.